Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at Visual Studio 2022. We will look at how we can download and install it, and we also look at getting started with it. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So Visual Studio 2022 makes it quick and easy to build modern applications. But we're not going to look too much into this. So to get started, obviously, let's open the browser. So just go Google. And the Visual Studio 2022. So here, you click on that first bit here. So as you can see, um, they've, they've still got the preview, but let's come back here. Then uh, we come inside the, 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 let's scroll down. Visual Studio 2022, download. So we come here to the, uh, this part here. So here we click on the Visual Studio 2022. So as you can see here now, we've got Visual Studio 2022. So we click and then we select what is actually applicable to us. In this case, we're just gonna select the community version. Yeah? So we come to this, there we should get the download started automatically. Okay, so once the download is completed, so we come inside here, uh, our downloads, yeah? So, we, this is what we've got. We click on the open file. So let's close the installer here. Then we've got this open there. We click on the continue. So now this is what we actually get. So here we can actually add some workloads to it. Yeah. So we can add ASP.NET and web development bit. There we can add a mobile development as well. So we can scroll down and see what actually is here. So we can also add a desktop development with uh, C++, universal Windows platform development, um, mobile development with C++. So let's scroll down. So this is all the, the workloads that you can add. So you can also add individual components by clicking on this tab. Yeah, so you can scroll down and add whatever component that is actually applicable to you. Yeah, so let's select a bit, some few stuff here. So we've selected ASP.NET web development, add mobile development with .NET, and then universal platform universal platform development so we click on the install here so this will actually take a while so as you can see here now i've actually got the community version installed but we we actually we, we have actually got a preview version installed but we actually installing yeah so sorry about that it was just a, a quick phone call so we've got the download actually completed the update version or whatever so we're just going to pause the video while the whole thing so visual studio needs at least 10.11 um okay so my actually my disk space is not enough so i'm just gonna uninstall some stuff so i'm just gonna pause the video now so i'm just gonna go back and deselect some stuff So I'm only going to select the ASP.NET web development. That is just six gig here. So I'm just gonna select that for now. So I'm just gonna um, download and install it for the time being. Okay, so now I've actually got the, the, the Visual Studio 2022 installed. So as you can see, this is 2022. It's got the current one for the current version of it. Yeah, so Yeah, so here, obviously, we can create a new project or we can continue with our any code. So we're just going to go ahead and create a new project. So 
So this is what we actually get for the first time. Uh, so this is actually the first time I'm actually looking at it. Yeah. So this it's got all the usual um, template projects. Yeah. So let's see what we could do. Let's let's create a Blazor Web Assembly. So we just go next. Uh, we just we're just gonna leave that um, HTTPS configuration, and we're gonna leave as um, .NET six LTS. So let's see how long it actually takes to load the project. It might take a while because um, obviously this is not my my personal computer. So this is what we actually get for the first time, like opening the the Blazor application, right? So as you can see here now, there's nothing really. There's nothing much changed, right? So let's let's run it to see what actually happens. So yeah, we've got the the app being built now. So as you can see here now, there's this actually flame here. So it seems to me more like it's a hot reload. So basically you can you can edit the code while it's being debugged without actually stopping it from running. Right? So let's see what actually ha So this is this is basically the console server. And this is your usual Blazor application, right? So there's nothing really, nothing much really changed. But obviously, we will look into much details on my next up on my upcoming videos, right? So I'm actually going to leave this video here, and on my next videos, we can explore further, right? So once again, yeah. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. But if you have, stay tuned. And then also, before I actually go, yeah, let's come back to the... Here, obviously, when, once you actually install the Visual Studio, you can come to the modify and then here, click on the individual components. So from here, obviously, you can add individual components or extensions to your Visual Studio, right? So if you look at it here, there are lots of stuff that obviously you can add. Yeah, here, like you can add ASP.NET MVC for um, C++ Android development tools and whatnot. So, like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I w good morning, good afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.